All right, this is The Sit Down, and I'm here with actor Sinqua Wall, star of the new BET drama, American Soul. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course, I am so excited about this. Oh, uh, I it, this it. is great. You, yeah. you play Don Cornelius, of yes. course, the legendary host of Soul Train. Yes. Uh, I, oh, I'm just so excited about this because it's like, you know, it's a new way to look at American history, right. pop culture, and right. of course, like music. Right. Uh, what are some things about Don Cornelius you learned from working on the show? I mean, I think this has been really like a treasure chest of unpacking a man because mm -hmm. one of the things that we knew Don Cornelius on Saturdays mm -hmm. and we knew him hosting the show, but then you get to meet him as a man in these, in these 10 parts of this first season and his extensive boxing career. I've always been kind uh -oh. of surprised about, yeah, he almost was a, was a pro fighter. Okay. He had a choice between being a pro fighter and then going to the military. He chose the military. Huh. His father was pushing him to become a fighter. And so in the show, we, we dive into that, that relationship that mm -hmm. they had. Mm -hmm and how it was surrounded by boxing so he was a person that really stood for what meant or i guess walked with his with intention mm -hmm. and i think a part of that was because he was a boxer that wasn't afraid to jump into a fight yeah yeah wow. yeah yeah yeah, Ooh, yeah that was so good now of course and I, we were just talking about this during the break so uh you know i think of like the soul train line i'm yes. gonna make you dance later so okay. you know get All ready right. for that friends he's gonna dance um but you know it, you were like don cornelius only danced once on the entire he only danced once on soul train you know it was it was um an episode where he was motivated by the dancers who okay. wanted him to come along on the okay, soul train like, and, and be a part of it. Uh -huh. And they're like, yeah, Don, you uh -huh. know, do it, do it, do it, do it. He did it one time, slipped and almost busted his. Uh -huh. And after that, he was like, I'll never dance on soul train again. I'm going to stay cool in my platform shoes. I'll interview everyone else and make them dance. Because <laughs> yeah. like, it's like, yeah, he's on, on the stage. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he did, it. it was this, actually this move where you see it and he caught himself. So, okay. you know, he used to actually be known as a good dancer in okay. Chicago. So he does this move and then he like slipped and it was like, oh, oh, oh. And yeah, he did the, he had to, like, the Beyonce he did the whole Super thing. Bowl. Yeah, he like, was like, okay, I like that. There's a long like, history yes, of that. Yes, and after that, he was like, never again. You're not going to okay. catch me off guard. Yeah, that's real. I get you it. Know? I get it. Well, I mean, it's cool. I mean, because again, the show, you know, um, Soul Train, as you said, was a part of people's daily lives yes. um, in the 70s. I remember watching reruns when I was a kid, you know. Same, same, same. Um, so, what else is kind of going on in American history at that time right. that we kind of get to see you and your as your character explores it? I think the biggest thing that I love that we tackle in the show is the backdrop of the MLK assassination in the mm. show. And you see how that is affecting everyone in society. And even though these people are coming together to dance on Soul Train, and Don has this amazing idea, mm -hmm. there's still life going on. Right. I mean, this show was an innovation of culture in America, but specifically black culture in America mm -hmm. and the way black people were perceived. One of those was a leader, Martin Luther King, who affected all of that. And we tackle that in the show. And I think it's really cool how we integrate those worlds of music and also life. Um, seamlessly. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, and speaking of which, there's a lot of celebrities, a lot of exciting. Because yes. again, like it, you know, Soul Train's right there with uh, music. So yes. we've got uh, Kelly Rowland. Yes, we do. We love her yes. playing Gladys Knight. Killing it too. Incredible. It. We have Michelle Williams playing yes. Diana Ross. Killing it. Screaming. Uh, what was it like working with two thirds of Destiny's Child? Let's get the three third. Okay. Let's get the whole third. You know what I mean? Do you want that? Like, I mean, I got to interview Michelle Williams. Like, I've, yes. And it like, it's like, did you resist asking her about Beyonce? Yeah. Were you asking about Beyonce every day? You know what? I let a lot of I let a lot of the crew ask about Beyonce because I was, you know trying to be in my professional space oh, of like, smart. hey, we are counterparts and we have thespians working <laughs> together. So I want to ask you these questions. Let's talk about the work here. So with both <laughs> Michelle and Kelly, it was really about them and uh -huh. us connecting. Uh -huh. And then I, obviously people got so excited because uh -huh. they were there that they would ask questions. Uh -huh. And then it became this running rumor that they're working on getting Beyonce. Maybe they're going to get Beyonce. And I remember saying to myself, I was like, if Beyonce comes on whatever day she, she uh -huh. gifts us with her presence, right. the security on our set Everyone will need a pass. It will be insane. <laughs> and I was like, shut down the entire I was like, are we gonna shoot at a different soundstage? Because right now, like, we have one where people can walk up. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? No, mm -hmm. no one really knew what we were doing in Atlanta. We had our own little secure oh, okay. pocket. But if Beyonce comes to set, mm -hmm. it's a whole different ball game. I would imagine. <laughs> You gotta show up and there's like police motorcycles and everything. Like, what's going on, Beyonce? I said. Who, who would you? Is there anyone you have in mind that you'd like to see Beyonce play? Like it's an old because oh, wow. she's done. Di she's kind of done the Diana Ross yes, thing with Dream yes, Girls. Yes, yes, yes. Think. Oh wow. Hmm. Maybe Tina Turner. 
Well, we have Tina Turner. Chuck, yeah, we who have plays Tina Turner. Gabrielle Dennis plays Tina Turner. She put, then we have Gabrielle Dennis and McKinley Freeman play Ike and Tina Turner on the show. Oh, and Gabrielle Dennis kills it. Oh my God! She, I mean, shout out to her. I'm, she con- did her I'm thing. concerned. Yeah, well, you know, it was it was real. Oh, but she. Ike and Tina, the, listen, we were standing on stage, and the the cool part about it is we had Soul Train stage days, oh, wow. and we recreated the set of Soul Train. So you That's feel like cool. you're really immersed in the area. Uh-huh. We shot on the old cameras that they used at that time. Okay. And and Gabrielle does this thing where she like goes like this, and then she does the Tina thing, and everybody was like, okay. Shook. She was in it, she did her work, she came prepared. I don't know who I would say for Beyonce to play. I would love her to play anybody. Yeah. If she can play my best friend. <laughs> Let's just have Beyonce be a special guest star love so we can interest. keep bringing her back. Yeah. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? I, you're yeah. sneaky. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know, I don't mind security on that day. I'm going to have to have a name tag just to be in a scene with her. <laughs> So people know that I'm the guy that's supposed that's to be good. there. I yeah. think that's perfectly reasonable. You know how to be respectful. Um, well, something else I love, you are also going to be on a Netflix film right. with Angela Bassett that's and right. Patricia Arquette, who's yes. had a like, an especially good run Crazy, right? this year. Right. Um, it's a movie called Otherhood. Uh, yes. Tell us about it. And also, we just got to ask, what's it like being able to say Angela Bassett plays your mom? What's it like being able to say that Angela Bassett is a mentor in a mom-like capacity and still reaches out to you? Stop! That's the question. Shut! It's a gift. Oh my it's God. amazing. I, I, I'm so grateful for her in all aspects. She's been such a mentor and a guiding light in my life since the day that we worked together, since the day that we met. I learned so much from, by, by working with her. I watched her. I observed her. I listened to her. I asked her questions. And she taught me so much so graciously. I think the biggest thing that people need to know, and you can, it comes across in, in her social and it comes across in her, in, in her um, interviews, yeah. is she's a beautiful person inside and out. And she's yes. dedicated to growth in all aspects yeah. and you being great as well. Yes. Um, so she that was the gift radiates. of that. She radiated. I've never seen someone look so flawlessly beautiful with no makeup in my life. Mm-hmm. And I remember her walking up when we were at Netflix, and they were like, so this is Angela going to play your mom, and I'd never met her before. And I was like, <laughs> right. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Hi. Mother. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, so it was so a blessing. It was awesome. Well, I'm excited to watch it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's like this moment. I mean, the, the American Soul is going to be great. Yeah. And, of course, Netflix is like a whole other level of whole exposure. Engine. Yeah. Does this moment feel like my time has come? And empowered? Do yeah. you feel like, all right? I feel like I'm doing something right. You know what I mean? You set an intention. I, and I always say this when I talk to people. And they say, what, do you, what would you say to any young actor? Mm-hmm. What would you say to actors getting into? Set an intention, believe in your passion, and follow it. Mm. And I just kind of stayed the course every day and mm-hmm. just trying to get better every single day. And I feel like these are the little gifts that saying you're doing something right. Keep mm. doing it. I like that. You know, and that's really what it is for me. I like that. Yeah. Well, Sinqua, you're doing something right. And now you're going to do something <laughs> crazy. We're gonna get, do, can we get some disco music? Is that what's happening? Oh, we're getting disco music. We want to, uh, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, look, we got the lights. Oh, okay, hey, we're gonna go disco. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 h